The word for the day is competence, as in one of the biggest differences between the two parties is that when the Democrats are running government, they and the people that they put into positions of power have at least a basic level of competence. And when Republicans are in power, the same thing is often not true. So you have um, a situation where the, the Republicans hate government, they dislike it, and so in leading up to a run for office, they don't do the research, they don't learn what works and doesn't work, they just go with ideological um, talking points, and talking points aren't a way to actually get anything done. They may be a way to communicate a message, but if you actually want to accomplish something, you have to go beyond talking points and act like today isn't the first day. Act like there have been days before today and that we've learned information from those days and we've learned what things are effective and not effective and apply those. Republicans have no interest in that whatsoever. They actually benefit from failures of government, particularly when they can set up um, a program or an entity to have a long-term failure. They don't want something to fail when they're in office, but they, they certainly do want to see government fail to achieve its goals when Democrats are in power. Um, and they're pretty good at setting those conditions up. So um, one of the key things you want to decide on if you're vo- try to decide whether to vote for a Democrat or Republican is do you want whatever government programs exist to succeed or to fail? And part of that should play into your decision. And I'll give you an example of the type of incompetence I'm talking about. I actually called earlier this week Mike Herodopoulos' office um, to find out if a particular event was something that was a private event or something that was open to the press and the public. And so as the uh, assistant who answered the phone was writing down my message, this is exactly um, what the person said as they read aloud what they were writing down. And they said, um, Kenneth Quinnell wants to know if the press conference is open to the press. And this was a message given to the person that theoretically had the answer because no one else seemed to know, not one single person in in either his office or the president, uh, the Senate president's office knew the answer to my question except for theoretically this one person. And this person got a message from me saying the asking if the press conference was open to the press, which then, of course, some reason or another, I never got a response back on that. And I wonder if it was the horrible message that was passed along to this person um, suggesting that I didn't know that the word press was in the word press conference. So... Um, that's a, it's a minor thing, um, but it's a, it, it's the type of thing that, um, is emblematic of much bigger problems with the way things are done when Republicans are in power.